Right now, Colorado gun stores are struggling to keep ammo on the shelves. Gun sales surged this year, and the holidays are driving demand even higher. Denver 7 Shannon Ogden takes a look at what's behind the trend and how the Colorado Bureau of Investigation plans to hit its targets. My sales are probably four times greater than what they typically are at this time of the year. Paul Paradis owns Paradise Sales in Colorado Springs. He says the surge in gun sales actually began last February. Perhaps more telling, the majority of his sales have been to first-time gun buyers. I sell guns for self-defense, which is one of the big reasons people buy guns, but I also sell guns for hunting and I sell collectibles. Social unrest, unemployment and election division appear to be the main reasons for this rise. And as we work through the holiday season, buyers will not only find a scarcity of the most popular handguns and rifles, but ammunition as well. The unemployment or factories working at limited capacity is probably the biggest problem. Transportation is probably the second biggest and, and lack of raw materials. Those shortages mean there won't be an increase in sales through the holidays without the product to sell, but the Colorado Bureau of Investigation is still preparing for a continued rush on background checks. Through October 2020, there have been more than 400,000 background checks for firearms transfers. That compares to just about 330,000 for all of 2019. The CBI wants gun owners and new gun buyers to know it's doing everything it can to cut the wait time. What it will not do is rush the process. I'm Shannon Ogden, Denver 7. And the Colorado Bureau of Investigation says Black Friday is typically its busiest day of the year for background checks on gun sales. InstaCheck staff will be working until 9 tonight, and they may end up working outside of those hours just to get through the surge. The CBI says it will also put team members from other departments to help.